Sheila here with my weekly update. I hope that you're well this week. I have been having quite a fun week this week, um, which I'll share um, more of in a minute. But I've also been doing some uh, updating to my website and some of you who might, might be watching um, have been, um, people who have bought some of my work have very kindly been sharing some short testimonials about the experience and, and their work and it's been so lovely uh, seeing the feedback come in. So thank you to everyone who's done that so far. So to Linda, to Vicky, to Sabine, to Laurie, to Hannah, thank you so much. And there are a few other ones that I haven't quite got on the website yet, but it's been lovely to see that. So if you're interested, you can go on to the website, howshilasees.co.uk and there's a new testimonials page on there as well. So hopefully that will be growing over the coming months as well. But what I want to share with you today is something I did earlier in the week and those of you that follow me on Instagram will, will have seen this anyway uh, because it got a lot of love. Um, we had the sunniest, the warmest September day since 1906 this week here um, and I made the most of it and last week I was at, uh, last weekend I was at a maker's market, remember I told you about that, and I bought a DIY cyanotype kit um, which had paper and a few different objects in it. Um, and I don't know if you know about cyanotype, but it's basically one of the earliest forms of photography. So you have treated paper and you can put objects on top of it and it basically creates a negative. But it's um, you might be familiar with this kind of blue and white effect. So this is a cyanotype and it's the most amazing process. Although it's a chemical process, it's it's really like alchemy. It's, it's really magic. Um, so um, raw designs to had uh, created the little kit that I bought. They um, put some little dried flowers and things in with it as well. So here you can see this is, you know, dried flowers, some heather and this lovely sort of feathery thing here. And what you do is you put your um, objects onto the paper, the treated paper, and you put either some glass or, you know, maybe a clear acetate um, on top of that. Then you just leave that in the sun for a couple of minutes um, and the paper is sort of a greeny colour to start with and then it changes, uh, no, so it, it it's sort of a light blue green and then it changes colour um, and then you wash it off, the chemicals off, you put it in, 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 in water and that's when it changes to this bluey colour and that's quite a magical process and I shared a couple of videos on that which got a lot of love on, on Instagram so I might put them at the end of this as well. Um, and so you can see here, there's another one. This is actually um, a shell that um, I keep it on my desk, um, but really nice. But this one is the one that I really, really love. I'll just put that a bit closer. This is actually some Angelica or Love in the Mist uh, seed heads. Um, the actual flowers are beautiful, but I'm, I'm really liking the seed heads as well. So I haven't cut them back. So um, I just cut them uh, in the garden on on. Uh, Wednesday when I was doing this and I'm so pleased with the way that that's turned out because the different kind of it's almost like a 3D effect um, just the way the light has caught things and also I, I was weighing down the acetate um, but I really like the shadow that um, the object that I was using a little box um, created on that um, so I just think it's lovely and it's just such a magical process and really good fun so um, something to have maybe um, it's something to try because anyone can do this. Um, really, really good fun um, and really quite reasonable to get the paper online. You can buy the chemicals and, and do it all yourself, but you're probably better to start off with just buying some treated paper. So that's been my week. It's It's been great fun. Um, unfortunately, I've not been able to do any more <laughs> printing, um, not least because we used all the paper, but also it's been raining ever <laughs> since. So I hope I don't have to wait another Oh, goodness knows how long for another sunny day. Anyway, that's been my week. Uh, I hope you've had a good week and you're keeping well. Thanks again for all the likes and shares. And I'll be sharing more um, same time next week. Until then, take care. Bye.